from the age of one to four. Um, my daughter's three, so I try to make them a year older and a year younger so they grow up and grow up. Um, the first app that we developed was Zeus Centers, which is um, a really simple app for kids who don't have really good motor skills. You know, they can touch things, but they can't touch individual targets. So this one, if you touch the screen, it makes the sound of an elephant. And then if you go to the next one, you touch the screen and it makes the sound of a gorilla. So for a one-year-old, trying to find a few minutes of time between placing an order at dinner and the dinner actually showing up, this gives them something to do. So then we took it one step further and we said, well, why don't we add, why don't we add uh, letters and numbers to it so they're learning something more than just what the animals are they can learn this is what number one looks like and there's one monkey and then they can go this is what number two looks like and there's two keys etc 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 so all throughout all of our apps are designed for how old my kid is right now she's three and four months so we're doing matching games now where she really enjoys finding the animals that match and you can say well here's two ducks if they match they disappear from the screen here's a horse and another horse and then they get the prize for winning and it gets harder as the kid gets older so you can play all the way up to 20 cards with face down just like a traditional matching game but some kids can't do that yet so you can have a real easy one you can have a real hard one depending on how old your kids are they're all priced around 99 cents. There's free versions of everything available. Um, and we're local, we're in Chapel Hill. Can I get you to say your name and spell sure. it as well? Lawrence Ingram, L-A-W-R-E-N-C-E-I-N-G-R-A-H-A-M.